Hey, what's up fellow YouTubers, fellow Toy Nuts and Toy Collectors, this is Odie, and thank you for stopping by my channel. So this is the 11th Toy Haul of the year of 2015. This is uh, week 26, and it's like um, super early Friday morning, the 26th, something like that. So anyway, um, yeah, I got another um, diecast Toy Haul, as you can see here in front of you. For Matchbox, I'm going to start off with Matchbox and I'll finish up with um, Hot Wheels. Um, as you can see here, we brand new toy line. Um, it's called the Supreme Hero. Um, here in front of you is a Ford Explorer. Um, or one of the, you know, police um, highway interceptors and whatever not. Uh, there seems to be four of these. So far, I've seen two different fire trucks. A modern one, one from like, I think it was like 69 or 79, something like that. And I don't know what the fourth one is. Um, they do tell you back here. Um, it's the Ford Explorer, obviously, it's the one I have in my hand. The Pierce Dash 63 Mac B model and the Hazard Squad. So these are the two out that I've seen. I have not seen the Pierce Dash. Don't know what it is. Uh, but I guess I could have gone to Wikipedia or Googled it or whatever. But yeah, I, I bought two of them. They were a little bit pricey. Uh, I believe they were $4 each. Or maybe a little bit less, maybe three fifty actually. A little expensive, but I figured I was going to open one anyway. I wanted to try to check it out. So this will be a long video, um, just because I'm going to be opening some and whatever not. So let's see what we got here. I'm just very curious if it's rubber tires. They look like it, but I don't know. Uh, the reason I didn't get the fire trucks is I do like fire trucks, but their scale is just horrible. They're still the same size as this. So I just like... I said no uh and they are rubber tires pretty cool about time i think obviously they've done these in the past um but um it's, it's probably been a long time um this the scale isn't too bad it's, it's you know obviously a little bit small uh what can i oh for example i got a bluebird out look at that i mean there's no reason that bluebird should be you know equal size but it is what it is so yeah, so very nice though. I like it nevertheless. So it'll go in the collection with the rest of the police cars. Um, I would love to have gotten more, and I did see them on the peg. But again, at three fifty each, I'm like, yeah, it's a pass. Two's enough. So there you go. So that was the Ford Explorer. Um, by the way, this month is going to be really tough for me to choose the top seven. I had, um, I have nine of them out right now, I'm trying to decide. And now that I have this huge haul. It's going to make it really, really hard. I can see maybe 15 to 18 that I'll have to choose from. So, <laughs> but it happens. Uh, picked up another one of these Toyota Land Cruisers. I'll try to go fast through some of these. Picked up another uh, 93 Ford Mustang. Very nice. I think this is like number six or seven. It'll look really nice next to the uh, Ford Explorer there. And I picked up another one of these um, Torque Titans. I had the first one, or I don't know if it's the first release, but it's a really funky blue color. So this one's green, and it's not as, um, it's a metallic, but it's not like super, super like shiny. So that's that. And that was it for Matchbox. Pretty short haul on the Matchboxes this week. All right, now up to um, Hot Wheels, and there'll be quite a few. All right, so first here we have the from the Porsche series. It's the only one that I could find. Um, I'm not a huge Porsche fan, but I actually wouldn't have mind gotten a full set. And probably only one. I probably wouldn't have gotten a second set to open. Um, but as it is right now, I have the Carrera there in orange. So that's pretty cool. All right. The Real Riders. I believe this is a strictly Target exclusive. This is the Hair Splitter. There was like three or four more, but the other ones were funky. I just didn't care. Not yet. Not if, unless, uh, oh yeah, they had the bubble gunner. Um, and that's all I can remember. I don't remember what the other one was called. Um, now, this is an 18 car set. If I can get the whole 18 cars, then obviously I would want to go for it. But something like this, I, I wouldn't mind getting an extra one or two because it is just very, very cool. I like the hair splitter a lot. There you go. So that was it for that now on to the regular main line well actually before i get to the main line i did finally find a sting rod here iron man i have two incomplete two sets two uh yeah two incomplete sets 
a missing Iron Man, Nick Fury, and I think it was Ultron. So now I have a finally my my first um, Iron Man. And I know this was just luck that I got it, you know, I was able to get, so I'll probably still have to go on eBay and get the rest so I can complete those. All right, now on to main line. So I'm going to do some singles first, and then there'll be some doubles and triples. 70 Dodge Little Red Express truck, pretty funky, pretty nice. I like it. I've never seen this in a different colorway. I'm sure it's been out before. It's not new. I don't, at least I don't think it is. That light is a little annoying. Let me kind of lift that up a little bit. Oh, wow, it's still really noticeable. Oh, it's not that light. It's this one. I have a few lights. But what about now? Now you can see that there's two of them. Anyway. Uh, we'll that. It will be like that. Uh, I was only able to get one of these. People are hoarding these like crazy. I don't know why. I mean, I think it, it is a cool vehicle. Don't get me wrong. Uh, but, I mean, people are just going nuts over these. But, yeah, the Tesla Model S. I mean, it is the first time they signed with Hot Wheels. So maybe that's the big deal. But I was able to get one. I doubt it that I open it until I can get some more. Just for shits and giggles, I had to get this, the H2 Go. Pretty cool. Uh, I just liked the colors of it. I know it's been released before, but I, I, I passed. I don't. I can't even remember what the first color was. But you know what? I just want to open it anyway. I doubt it that I ever get more or even other colorways. Nice little tiny skinny wheels. Kind of like the same ones you can find on the roller coaster and a couple other rides here and there. But this is nice though. Very interesting. I like it. It's very wide. Um, probably won't even fit in a track because it seems really wide actually. But nice, nevertheless. Cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Picked up a turbine time. Uh, I think the first one was a red color. So I got the green one now. Okay. Picked up the Cadillac El Mirage. Very nice. Just one of those. The 65 Mustang 2 plus 2 fastback. Now there's a um 2015, is it? Yeah, the 2015 Mustang comes in this exact same booth so that's really cool so they kind of started doing that again i like when um, hot wheels does that they take a classic and a modern and give it, give it the same um, paint scheme i think that's pretty cool could only find one though i really want to get another one the 2008 lancer evo the maximum attack unfortunately it's not the super treasure but that's okay so and only one of these two it's pretty crazy And I got these all out of Walmart. <clears throat> 71 Hemi Cuda. Very nice red with the flames there. Right. Honda S2000. Pretty nice white with the kind of like the green spackles or splatters of paint. And from Teen. Teen, um, I believe they do. What is it? Shocks, right? I believe so. Very nice. Again, only one I was able to get. It was a dump in. I went to the regular aisle. Obviously, the aisle had two or three cases colds. Old. I mean, it was packed, but it was everything was old. I went to the dump in. I was like, yay, got lucky. So, but you can tell somebody had already kind of gone through it. So I was able to pick up a few. So can't. Okay, it's not too bad. Bentley Continental Super Sports. I actually got the red one that first came out. I really liked it. So I figured, you know what? I normally wouldn't buy a lot of these exotics, doubles or triples. Um, unless it's a Ferrari, of course, but, um, yeah, I figure, you know, let's grab a blue one, it's pretty nice. Fiat 500 in white. I didn't have a white one yet, I believe that's the first one was a red one. So I figure you could grab the white one, I like it, it's pretty nice. And here we go, now we start with the doubles. Picked up two of these bad boys here. And I'm telling you right now, uh, this is kind of... I don't know, a cheap preview, but this is definitely in my top seven this month. There's no doubt about it. <laughs> so, so I'm already giving you one out of the seven. So there you go. I'll open that, up that later. The GT Hunter in the black. I really like this car a lot too. It's pretty cool. So two of those. 
the loopster i finally got my hands on some loopsters i got one uh all four sitting and one with the uh, hands ra uh, raised so uh, finally and this will definitely go in my awesome three of everything or two of everything one open but since these are the first two i'm gonna have to wait until i find some more but i can definitely see people buying i don't know 10 12 of these and putting them all together and playing with them like a real roller coaster because it is that cool so this is the one with the raised hands it's a little bit bent because of the plastic you can tell it might have been perfectly straight but then the plastic just bends that one arm and i think they'll all be like that mm. the super volt <sighs> the package looks black but i guess it's really supposed to be like a really dark silver um and i actually like it. i think that looks really cool The Dotson 240Z and the white. Um, I know they usually come with all these tamples and whatever now, but I really don't like these tamples this time around. Um, oh, you know what it is? Maybe the tamples ain't that bad. I think it's the rims that are throwing it off for me. Yeah, I'm not really liking those rims. Ah. Nevertheless, very, very cool car. The very awesome 1971 Buick Riviera and the red. Very nice. I have it in the green with the Mr. Gaskick Corporation. Very nice. Very, very nice. I do apologize, guys, if my lighting is a little off this week. Um, I really should have tested it out on video before shooting it, but now I don't want to stop. So. The Batmobile, live Batmobile. I never get tons of these. I really don't like this car that much. But since I'm, I'm growing a huge Batman collection... I figure, you know, get an open one for my open box and then the, the one single at least. There you go. The 67 Chevy C10. Very nice. I I believe this truck was picked last month. Top 7. It won't be this month because it actually has some tough competition this time around. But um, it's still nevertheless pretty cool. Um, I think the... I mean, I like the yellow... Um, the flames are a little too much, I think. But um, but hey, it's, it's it's for the kids, really, right? <sighs> Next, we have the Corvette ZR1 with the Golf Tampo. I think I meant to grab three of these because these Golf cars are always super, super, super popular. Doesn't matter what's adorning the golf symbol, it just always flies off the shelves. Um, so I screwed up. But again, I'm not a huge Corvette fan either. Um, so these will probably just both stay in the package for now. Yeah. The very cool Aston Martin GT3 Vantage. Pretty cool. Um, don't like the colors all that much, but it is what it is. Let's crack one of these bad boys open because I don't think I've ever owned one of these. It does say new for 2015, but I don't think it's a second colorway. So, I don't think it's a second colorway. But I could be wrong. I might already have it and have forgotten that I have it in a different colorway. But it, it is sexy. That is a sexy, sexy car. That is very nice. I'm sure it works really well on the track, so you can just tell. It's white enough. The, um... The front lip spoiler there is nice and bent, so it'll go around the the loop the loop. So sorry for losing you there. So that's kind of cool. So yeah, you can tell this is definitely gonna work in tracks really nice. So there you go. All right, next we have a pack of three. Uh, here we have the Volkswagen Caddy in the silver. So I think I have the orange one. This. I believe I have three of the orange ones now. I have three of the silver. I can definitely see a lot of people buying it in silver because it'll be a lot easier to spray on. Um, and you can, you know, obviously color whatever color you want. I don't think orange is that bad to color over, but some people like, you know, taking out the paint and then they color, which is, I think, the right way to go about it. Seems a lot of you professional guys do it that way. Again, you know, my big two guys, Mr. Sensitivity and Mr. Diecast1978, I believe they stripped them. And then they paint them, so pretty cool. One of my all-time faves, as of late, the Ford Fiesta. 
the night 2020 2012 <laughs> for fiesta in a funky green i don't know why um i've heard people hating on this particular one because they've now done what five or six of these um and that's including the two treasure hunts which is really cool imagine that two treasure hunts of the same car um one and one one succeeding another year after so um but yeah um yeah people have been hating on it but i like it i don't care um even in this funky green and i'm gonna crack open one let's crack open this one here There is in the green. Very nice. Very, very nice. I love this car. This car is so cool. I can't wait to the um, for the Ford Focus RS to come out in this, you know, in this Hot Wheel size. It's gonna be probably super, 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 super popular. Very cool. Nice. And last, but certainly not least, on the regular main line, your Walmart exclusive. This is your Zamek number 11, 2015, 1968 Cougar. And I picked up four of these bad boys. There was at least, <coughs> excuse me, I want to say six or seven. I left the other two or three behind so somebody else can enjoy them. So let's crack one open. You're probably wondering why four of these um, among all the other ones. Well, again, I'm a big Ford guy. You know, obviously, this is their sister company, Mercury. I've, also, I've always loved the Cougar. Everybody knows of the Cougar back in the day, especially these years. They were just basically Mustangs. Um, they just had their own identity in terms of their own shape and whatever not, and their funky fold-up um, grill. I mean, lights. Um, Cougars were the upscale model of a Mustang, really. Um, they usually had the better premium leather. Um, same power, obviously, because like I said, it's the same transmission, same engine back in, this, in these days. But it was always just a premium, more premium inside. Um, and because it was Mercury, it was just considered the higher end version. Uh, but yeah, very, very sexy. Very, very nice. So I wouldn't be surprised if this ends up in the top seven. I'm not saying it is, but it might end up in the top seven. This will more than likely be my last toy haul of this month. So I'll probably, um, I'll fill my top seven tomorrow and put it up on the 29th or something like that. Three days, three days later. But yeah, I think th I think this will be it. I, I doubt that I go to any other stores and try to find more. Very, very nice. And last but not least, like I said, on the regular main line, was able to find the next two to the ever-growing um, pop culture line. Picked up the single-carded version of War Machine. Because obviously you have to have the single carded. Um, and I think my big attraction to these. And I think a lot of collectors. Is the packaging. Um, the cars are cool. Because obviously they're all original. Um, if you're into. Um, you know. These the, these type of collectibles. And obviously a lot of people are. Um, but obviously the kids love them more than anything. But um, yeah. I have the two pack version. But again. Just because I'm a comic book geek. Um, I would have to get all of these. Just because of the packaging. And then. <clears throat> I was able to get the Ultron, and I'll move that down so you can see what that one looks like. So it's a little bit, this one, the War Machine's a little bit tough, and I really wish I would have had them out, but it's all packaged. Uh, maybe someday I'll, I'll do another video just kind of comparing. But anyway, um, not that I'll probably ever open any of these, <laughs> but anyway, the uh, two-pack is a lot more silver, um, and obviously doesn't have that image. It's the movie version. So this is obviously your comic book version. So that's really cool. So that's the number one reason why I would never have passed this up. So that's really, really cool. And this car is pretty badass. Pretty badass. So it's a really, really nice car. Um, they're pricey. Um, at first, I was going to start doing two of each so I could open one. I ended up only doing, I believe, um, R2-D2 um, for the Star Wars side and Captain America for the Marvel side. And I've don't think I've ever opened up in anymore. I've never gotten doubles, I should say, and I doubt it that I will. Um, again, they're just pricey, um, but um, hey, it is what it is. What it is. Cool. So yeah, folks, this is it. This is the end of my um, toy haul.
kept it under 20 usually um, that's where I like to be no more than 20 so I don't lose you guys get you guys bored <laughs> so as always guys thank you thank you so much for viewing please rate subscribe share comment all that good stuff you guys take care and be good peace later